Hello and welcome to Marketing91.com. Let's start with understanding the trade-off between liquidity and profitability of banks. Motives of investment policy are The investment policy, also known as portfolio management of a bank, is guided by two important motives, profitability and liquidity. A commercial bank must earn profits for its shareholders and at the same time have sufficient liquidity to satisfy the withdrawal needs of its customers. Profitability is an important objective of a bank is to earn profit for its shareholders. Hence, banks tend to be influenced by the consideration of profits while acquiring assets. In case of safety and security or liquidity, because the business of a bank depends on the confidence of the depositors, every bank must have sufficient liquidity, that is, the ability to produce cash on demand. Apart from maintaining enough cash balance, a bank should acquire assets that can be easily converted or shifted to cash. The objectives of profitability and liquidity are contradictory in nature. Maximum liquidity can be achieved by maintaining a high proportion of cash against deposits, which will not generate any income or profitability for the bank. However, if the bank uses all its funds for lending to earn a large interest income, it will not be able to maintain liquidity and expose itself to higher liquidity risk. The best way to maintain liquidity versus profitability reconciling twin objectives. The asset portfolio of a bank tries to achieve sound balance between liquidity and profitability. A commercial bank arranges its assets in an ascending order of profitability and descending order of liquidity. As we move down the balance sheet, the assets start becoming less liquid and more profitable. Factors affecting liquidity are Statutory requirements Banking habits of people Monetary transactions Nature of money market Structure of the banking system Number and size of deposits and nature of deposits. Factors affecting profitability are Amount of working funds deployed Cost of funds Yield on funds Spread, which is the difference between interest income and expenses Operating costs Risk costs Non-interest income and Level of non-performing assets or NPAs Thank you.